Okay, while Arjun writes this, that's exactly what I was talking about before. You need to write or you need to draw. You can do word problems in your head. You can, okay, but it's really risky. Okay, and that's why what we're doing now is very important. Let me just say this really quickly while he's done. It's very important for you guys to learn that you need to master a certain concept. So when we do a math problem together, if you do this at home, if you do um, like a problem from anything, it doesn't have to be math, any subject, okay? And you guys answer that question, the, 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 the important thing is not whether you answered it right or wrong. It's not whether you got the answer correctly or if you got a mistake. The thing is, you need to be sure that you understand how to do this question and you master the concept. So if I bring like a hundred questions right now, the exact same idea, different numbers, different names, but a hundred questions, you can get each and every one of the hundred right and quickly. That's mastery. It's not about just getting it right once, okay? Now, to know that you have mastered a certain concept, that you really understand something, you need to be capable of teaching this concept to someone else. You need to be capable of explaining this problem to someone else. If you can explain this problem to me right now, that means you really understand how to do it, you have mastered it, you can do it again. But if you got the right answer, but you really can't relate or you can't explain to me how to do it, especially if I don't know how to do it, then that means you are still lacking here and you need to study more, you need to do it again, you need to ask questions. So always try to, if you have a, if you have a hard concept that you're learning, anything in school, always try to master this concept, make sure you really understand it, then bring someone, okay, your brother, your sister, anything, okay, any person, and sit that, see that person in front of you and try to explain to that person how to do this specific problem or explain this particular concept. If you are able to explain it and they really understand what you said, then you're fine. If you can't relate it, then that means you do not know it well enough, okay? So, here's what we're gonna do. Mm, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's take a look at this question. Bob and Bill live 12 miles apart. So here's Bob and here's Bill. They live 12 miles apart, so this is 12 miles. And always, when you have a word problem, you need to draw something, you need to write something. You can't do it in your head, trust me. Bob walks at four miles per hour and Bill walks at three miles per hour. So this is speed, velocity, rate. If they are going to meet at a point halfway, which is right here, between Bob's and Bill's houses, how many minutes head start will Bill need? Now, an approach to word problems on the test that is always beneficial is the following. You drew the information given, but you really don't understand how to get the minutes head start that Bill needs, for example. So one thing to do on the test would be to look at the information you have and then use the information to just get anything else and take it from there. That's if you're stuck and know what, you don't know what to do. So we know they live 12 miles apart. They know, we know they're going to meet halfway. So this is six miles right here. And this is six miles because it's all 12 and this is halfway. Okay, so we know this. And then we know their speeds. Bob walks at four miles per hour. So you ask yourself, if Bob walks at four miles per hour, so every mile he walks four, every hour he walks four miles, how much time will it take him to reach here? So an hour, four miles. And then half an hour for another two miles, that's six. So he takes one and a half hours, 1.5 hours. Okay, Bill walks at three miles per hour. Bill walks at three miles per hour, so every hour he walks three miles. So how much time will it take him to walk six miles? It will take him two hours, right? Because in the first hour he walk three, in the second hour he'll walk another three miles. So two hours. Now, where's the answer to the question? Look at the question one more time. How many minutes head start will Bill need so that they can meet at the halfway point at the same time? Oh, now I understand. So Bill will take, will need two hours to get here, but Bob will only need one and a half hours. So Bill needs to start 30 minutes earlier because he's gonna take 30 minutes more time to reach the halfway point. Easy? Easy. Okay.